Now to a developing story in the NBA. Raptors forward Jonte Porter is under investigation by the league following multiple instances of betting irregularities over the past several months. Multiple sources told ESPN yesterday. So the NBA is looking into some prop bets involving Porter from games on January 26th and March 20th. Players along with all league employees are prohibited from betting on any NBA events. That's including, of course, prop bets. Tim Legler back here with us and uh, Shannon Sharp and, of course, Brian Windhorst. Uh, Brian, you along with David Purdom and Woj are the ones who reported this story. What is the latest on this? Yeah, so first off, there isn't any certainty that John Tay Porter actually made a wager himself. What there is is a, a lot of circumstantial evidence and suspicious activity, primarily because, as you can imagine, as a player who's on a two-way contract, while there are, uh, you know, betting options offered on players like Jonte in games, it's very unusual to see much volume. And what raised the casino's uh, alarms here and eventually was passed on to the NBA and led the NBA to launch an investigation was on the same night that Jonte Porter had a very increased n amount of betting on his prop bets, way higher than you would have for any uh, normal game, Twice in the last two months, the same nights those happened, he exited the games with previously not um, on the injury report illnesses and injuries. Before both games, he was not on the injury report at all, and then he only made it you know, in one game a little over three minutes and in one game a little over two minutes. And so that is just extremely suspicious, suspicious enough to the point where – he has been taken uh, and put on leave away from the team, and the NBA is investigating. Um, I don't. I think. It, I don't think we know anything more than that right now. Um, there's certainly a lot to talk to team personnel about, and for the casinos to do their research on. This, in a way, this was the casinos' integrity operations that caught this, um, that flagged this, and, and, and led to this. And I think that's also a key factor. <laughs> no, the casino they build money with losers' money, not winners' money. It ain't no integrity because had he had lost, the casino would have never reached out to the NBA. They would have never said a word. It was the fact that he was in their pockets that made them reach out saying, oh, what's going on here? Somebody's betting 85 all this money on, on a two-way player? Hell, I didn't even know you can bet on a two-way player. And, and it does look suspicious. All of a sudden, this heavy flow comes in on a guy that's on a two-way contract and on the under, and then all of a sudden he exits the game with a non-previously disclosed, uh, disclosed injury. And it happens again, I guess, a month or six weeks later, uh, uh, Wendy. And so, yes, that piqued the curiosity of the casino because they say, hey, the one thing we know, you – Legs, I don't know how much you guys gamble, but if you go to a casino and they suspect you of counting cards, they get you up out of there. They ain't in the business of losing money, and they definitely not going to lose the money through shady practices. So that's what this was about, Wendy, because he had he lost that, casino would have never said a word. They never call it integrity when they winning your money. It's only when you start to hit their pockets that all of a sudden it comes into question. But this is, it seems... Whew, it seems awfully suspicious to me also. Yeah, this can't be coincidental. And look, <laughs> if you really think about it, what's the best way you can guarantee a prop bet winner? It's to do exactly what he did, which is you've got these numbers out there, and the numbers are pretty low because he's a role player. He's not going to play a lot of minutes as it is. The numbers exactly. are very low, right? So what do you do? You play a couple minutes, take yourself out. That guarantees you can't get to that number because if you played your normal minutes – and you were trying to guarantee you weren't going to get to those numbers, well, that's going to look suspicious to the coach. Exactly. Like, wait a why are you turning down open shots? Why are you not running the floor? You could have had a layup right there. You're not going to right. the glass, whatever it may be. So this is the perfect way to do it, and this is a big problem. This really is. And, look, it, it's been caught, but you can't have any sort of visual that anything you are watching when it comes to sports is predetermined. Nope. Now you've got a problem on your hands because now it's like pro wrestling, right? And that it can't yep. be that. It has to be a series yeah. of random events taking place. And, and look, look though, these leagues now are intertwined with these betting platforms. So this is this is a big deal right now. And, and they caught it. And it looks like let's see what happens. Obviously, a lot more information has to come out, and he's got a lot of things to answer to in terms of what his involvement was, who were the guys that were trying to make money off of this, 
What was the communication flow there? A lot more has got to come out, but certainly, guys, this does not look like this could be a coincidence to have something like this happen. Well, one thing I think – yeah. Go ahead. One one thing I think it's interesting is that um, the average NBA salary is north of $12 million. Uh, Prop betting limits are relatively low for people who are professional athletes. However, there are some players at the bottom end of the NBA food chain – like John Tay Porter. Again, he's on a two-way contract. He's scheduled to earn about 400000 this year, less than even the minimum salary for a first-year player who's on a full contract. And so that is the area where I think the NBA has to keep special attention to because the risk-reward, you know, in a case like Porter, he's had two ACL tears in his career. He hasn't played and he didn't play in the NBA the last two years. He played in the NBA in 2021. He's basically barely hanging on to the edge of the league. And so that's – a situation you have to watch. And I also think this is something you particularly have to watch in college as well because there are players in college who may not you know, be, be seeing potential opportunities in, in, you know, in professional sports. And, and that's always been the case. And you know, a couple of years ago, guys, I went to Sport Radar, which is one of the big sports data companies in London, and I watched their integrity operation and I saw how they track betting. Um, there is a real apparatus to try to watch for this, but what you're concerned about when you hear about this is the stuff that doesn't get caught, and that's what makes everybody uneasy, I think. And the thing what's happening, guys, is that these the MLB, the NBA, the NFL, the gambling sites that draft the DraftKings, the uh, the ESPN bets, all of them are embedded, and they want to keep this relationship with these sports teams. Because the sports team, they love taking their money. Now, this is what we're saying now. We're going to let you know if something is known to up and up, and we're going to need you to do something about it. So it's one hand washing the other. 